Hi everybody, welcome to Agama. This is Rakesh. Today, we are going to learn about the types of sets. We have a different types of sets. One of them is, first of all, let us see finite set. Let us see finite set. Finite set. So, what is finite set? Right? If a set contains countable number of elements means if you take any set a e for example this is one of the set like a e i o u so how many elements we have in this we can count right one two three four five so five elements means this is said to be a finite set means if a set contains countable number of elements such set is said to be in uh, finite set such set is said to be finite set right if you see like uh, how many members in your house so we can count the number of members in our house right or number of friends number of friends in your classroom if you would like to write this as a set these also countable right or uh, um, capital cities uh, all the capital cities of these different states in india so those are also countable okay so such all set to be the finite set where you can count the number of elements in a set right so finite set is a set a finite set a finite set is a set contains contains countable number of elements countable number of elements such set is said to be finite set we have infinite set let us see what is infinite set infinite set the next is infinite set so what is infinite set right if a set contains uncountable number of elements uncountable number of elements it means you cannot count the number of elements present in a set for example if you take the set of natural numbers we represent in this way right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so on so if you observe here the number of elements in this set are uncountable where we cannot count the number of elements because it is infinite elements we have in this so that is what this set is said to be infinite set means even a set of integers right set of whole numbers all these are the just example of a infinite set means s f a infinite set infinite set is a set contains uncountable uncountable means where we cannot say how many elements does it contain uncountable number of elements uncountable number of elements so such set is said to be infinite set so we have learned two sets in this now one is finite and another is infinite right we have few more okay so let us see what are they now now another set is empty set empty set 
so what is empty set empty means we all know nothing right means if a set contains if a set contains no elements if a set contains no elements for example uh, set of element set of uh, natural numbers set of natural numbers less than 1 So, what are the elements set of natural numbers less than one? So, what are the natural numbers less than one means? Actually, natural numbers begin from one. So, natural numbers less than one is nothing. The it's nothing. No elements in this. So, such set is said to be empty set. Such set is said to be an empty set. Clear? Or you can uh, take one more example that triangles. set of triangles set of triangles with uh, two obtuse angles with two obtuse angles with two obtuse angles so set of triangles with two obtuse triangles obtuse means what whose angle is greater than 90 degrees right So in a triangle, no two triangles are greater than 90 degrees. So that in this set you cannot get any type of a triangle, right? So this is also set to be an empty set. In this way, we can get many examples. Okay, uh, in a year, months have more than 31 days. In a year, months have more than 31 days. No month consists more than 31 days. So that it is also an empty set. so if you think you will get more examples like this and you have to remember one thing that is empty set empty set is also called what it can it can be called as void set okay or it also called as null set and empty set is denoted with this symbol empty set is denoted with this symbol the symbol is this is what empty set okay so empty set void set null set all the same meaning right and uh, now tell me that is this set is an empty set for example set a represented like this is this set an empty set so for this i give the best example this is a cotton box and this is a small cotton box which this is also an empty cotton box and this is also an empty cotton box so two boxes the smaller box is in the bigger one now can we say that this bigger cotton box is an empty no because it contains an empty box inside similarly this is also not an empty set right and let me take one more example is this called an empty set no you may see you may feel that zero but element the set uh, this set contains an element zero so this is also not an empty set and this is also not an empty set right so empty set means no element should be present in that so that is what about the empty set let us see uh one more uh, type of a set in this before you watch the video subscribe it click on the bell icon for more notifications single turn set single turn set 
so what is single turn set if a set contains only one element only one element if a set contains only one element exactly one element such set is said to be in a single turn set right for example if i take let set a is even prime number set a is what even prime number so actually we have the prime numbers like uh, mm, what we have the prime numbers we have the prime numbers like 2 3 5 7 11 13 so on right but if you observe here 2 is only the number which is even as well as a prime so that set a is written like this so how many elements present in this set only one element so this is said to be the single turn set right even if you see that this is also said to be single turn set the least whole number least whole number means we know this is what zero set is a least whole number so that this is also single turn set single turn set means if a set contains only one element remember if a set contains only one element is said to be the single turn set right clear uh, uh, and the next is about cardinal number set cardinal number of a set right cardinal number of a set let us see cardinal number of a set so what is a cardinal number of a set right clear very clear where we can say number of elements in present in a set cardinal number is nothing that number of elements present in a set number of elements present in a set for example if you take a is equals to a b c So, how many elements present in this set? Three elements, right? So, it contains three elements: one, two, three. How do we denote that this cardinal number means n of a? We write, we write, we read as n of a is equals to three, where n of a is nothing but number of elements present in a set. N of a what? It does it tell number of elements present in set A equals to three. For example, if I take p is equals to three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So, what is the number of elements present in set P? One, two, three, four, five. So, how do we represent that n of p? It means number of elements in a set P that is equals to five. This is what. How do we denote, right? so cardinal number of a set is nothing that it tells number of elements present in a set now let us see equal sets okay about the equal sets what sets are said to be equal sets for example let me take equal sets For example, let's set A is equals to one, two, three, and uh, set B equals to three, one, two. Now, if you observing this, do the two sets have the same number of uh, same elements? Set A contains one, two, three, and set B also contains one, two, three. Order is not important. Already in the before previous classes we have learned when you list the elements, order is not important. 
so that equal sets equal sets means if two sets contain the same exactly same elements if the two sets if two sets contains exactly same elements such sets are said to be equal sets so it is rendered re like this where a equals to b because a and b have the same elements same elements no change in that we are not supposed to see the order right now if i see the equivalent sets equivalent sets equivalent sets so what sets are said to be the equivalent sets let me take one more example here set p equals to a b c and set q equals to 6 7 8 what is the cardinal number of p already we have learned before right cardinal number of p means n of p equals to 3 what is the cardinal number of q it means n of q equals to 3 means when the cardinal number of two sets equal when the cardinal number of two sets is equal then the two sets are said to be equal n sets means when n of p equals to n of q so that p equivalent to q p equivalent to q so these two sets are said to be the equivalent sets and q equivalent to p right so very simple equivalent sets means what the cardinal number should be same if the cardinal number of two sets are same then they are said to be equivalent sets right so this is about the different types of sets even we have few more we will see in the next class thank you for listening for any queries you can uh, give us a mail at askagamath at the rate of gmail.com thank you